known as a man partially responsible for bridging that gap between salsa music, Latin music, contemporary pop music, smooth jazz music, and, and you're also known for your work with Carlos Santana. Mm -hmm. And you're also known as the patriarch of maybe the greatest family of percussionists that have come out of the United States. Yeah, I mean, thank you. how do you feel about such a legacy? Well, I'm, you know, of course, I'm very proud of my accomplishments. I'm very grateful and very blessed that I had the op opportunity with, to play with great musicians. And, you know, there's something about being brought up in the Bay Area. And I must tell you that it's a really fine hub of very closeness of the musicians there and such a mixture of music. Because if you look back in the, well, in the 50s, you're, you're getting all jazz, and I love jazz, and that's, that's what I want to be, was a jazz musician. And then, uh, uh, of course, in the Bay Area, we had, you know, we had Santana, we had the Latin rock thing. We also had people like the Grateful Dead and Beautiful Day and all those rock bands and stuff. So then you get, you know, Sly and the Family Stone, you got Tower of Power. So much was going on there that you just take a little of, of all of them, you know. And that was my thing, is because we, we all grew up in the same area. And we all would, I, I remember the days where you could just go to one of their rehearsals. They, they wanted you to come and hear the band. So we would go and just hang out with Tower of Power, listen to the songs, and they'd, they'd be playing, rehearsing and stuff. So all of those things kind of, you know, they get inside of you. And so this is why, for me, I kind of went from this to this and this to this because there's so much, so much music in the Bay Area that I, I, I appreciated so much of it, so different styles, that I wanted to incorporate what I do all of those elements into what I do. So that's why I kind of mix up all the stuff that I do, yeah. Well, you know, and in preparation for today, I listened to some of your solo albums. You had eight solo albums, is that correct? I think there's about eight, yeah. I, I wish think there were more, but... Well, I'm sure there will be. Yeah. But, you know, and it's funny what you say, because I listened to them, and I read a review, and somebody said that um, one of your solo albums was a, a melting pot of musical ideas. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I didn't find that the case. Because to me, a melting pot signals that everything's blended together. Yeah. But yours was more like a salad bowl to me, because I could, <laughs> I kind of could hear yeah. distinctly yeah. the separate parts and where that influence right. comes from. Right. Yeah. That's just a rare and beautiful thing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Now, just in case the people who are watching this don't mm -hmm. know, could, could you say a little bit about who your children are? Yeah, well, of course, the most famous one is my daughter, Sheila, Sheila E. And, um, she started when she was so young, but it, she's another one that I think one of the rare and blessed people of the of the music world that she's just a natural, talented person, and uh, um, she's just doing great. She's uh, recording and traveling and playing with everybody. And, and she's a great drummer, not just a she's great percussionist, that, great drummer, great singer. I love, I love her drum playing because when she plays with me in the band sometimes, I always like her to be at the drum chair. And then the rest of the, the, the other two boys, Peter Michaels, my, my younger son, and Juan is my older son. They both play percussion and drums. They, they, all, they all got into percussion. But um, they've advanced so much because of now they're writing music, they, they do work in the studio, they produce, um, they do TV shows, they're, they're musical directors on TV shows, they're producers of videos, and they're just doing everything. I'm really, really proud of all of them. They've accomplished so much on their own that they're uh, amazing. So it's Sheila, Juan, Peter Michael, my young daughter is Zena, She's actually not in the music business because you have to have one that looks after everything, and she's that one. She takes care of all the merchandising and stuff like that. So. I hope the rest of them know how lucky they are that there's one that does that. Yeah, by the way. that's true. Now, and also you're an artist. Well, I've been painting uh, since I was in school, and uh, very fortunate that I had a great, great art teacher in, in high school. And uh, she took a real, real nice liking to me that I was the only one that was able to go in the back room and use the oil paints. 
because she felt the other kids were wasting the, the paint. And so um, she let, gave me a free hand. She actually uh, got me a scholarship to go to a College of Arts and Crafts in, in Oakland. Uh, she took me over to an advertising company, Foster & Kleiser. I had an apprentice job there when I got out of school. I was all set to be an artist, and I dropped everything to be a musician. And so, uh, but you're a working musician who still paints, though. Yes, right? yes. Well, I guess once you start that too, you yeah. can't stop, right? So I've kept up with my artwork, and uh, it, it's doing very well for me. I mean, I've, I've sold a lot of original paintings to you know, people in, in the business, entertainers and uh, people in television that have bought, bought my work. I also just finished uh, doing a hotel in uh, Cupertino, which is in the Bay Area. And uh, I did all the artwork in the whole hotel, so that was interesting. So you have multiple records, you have multiple paintings. The only thing that's missing from your resume so far is, would be a book. Are there any plans for that? Yes. Um, it's taken me almost four years to do this book, but um, it's actually the story of my life, um, sort of like what we're talking about now, but in more detail, and of course a lot of things that happen on the way. The ups and downs, the people I've met, the people I've played with, the tours, the you know, all of that stuff is there, the family. Um, so it's all there. I hope people find it interesting to uh, see what it's like to go through being a musician, uh, uh, you know, just a young kid who didn't know where I was gonna end up, uh, like a lot of young kids. Um, you know, you don't know what's gonna happen. It's just, I, I think if you just have that desire, that real, real strong desire, and just, you know, know that someday something's gonna happen, if you put all your heart and soul into it, it'll happen. And, I, um, and maybe also if you can enjoy the journey and not focus on the destination, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm also planning to do another, uh, another CD, but uh, what this is going to be is we did, me and my brothers, my brother Coke, um, we did two albums for uh, Columbia Records. One was called Azteca, second was Pyramid of the Moon. And uh, those two albums were considered collector's items at the time, and we, we recorded those back in 1972. My last birthday when I turned uh, uh, 77, 78, I'm, I, I'm around now. So, so I did all of those songs, I put the band together, I did all of those songs just like we did them, just like we recorded them back in the day in 72. And it was so well, um, the people just really loved it. Those songs uh, were, I don't know, something about what we did at that time that was very special. And so it, it's it's too bad that the band was short-lived because uh, it broke up right after the second uh, album and we didn't get a chance to do a third album. So because of all that, I thought, well, uh, instead of doing uh, another Latin jazz kind of album like usually what I do, I thought it would be nice to do another Azteca thing. So that's what I'm going to do is my next recording will be uh, with new songs and uh, uh, so really, really looking forward to this. This is going to be a lot of fun. And we can find out about the book and we can find out about the new album from your website, I assume. Yes, and yeah. that's Pete Escovito. Yeah, PeteEscovito.com. Uh, yeah, and, and I generally list everything on my, my website. So. Beautiful. Well, you know, when the sessions goes out, we, we try and talk to young, aspiring, up-and-coming musicians mm -hmm. about the business, about what they need to know to survive. Do you have any last words of wisdom? Yeah, I, I, yeah I, think, I think the first thing is to, you know, really decide if this is the life you want, if you really want to be a musician. And in a sense, you have to be a little selfish because you have to put a lot of work into it. Um, and like I said, I was, you know, for me, it, very unfortunate that I didn't go to s school to really learn my craft as professionally, you know. And so I think that they need to do that. I think that if they could get as much knowledge and schooling as they can while they're young, and this is going to 
be such a tribute to them as they get older to really know all the real fundamentals of the music and whatever instrument they choose. I think that's important, but you know, it, it's that, it's that, like I said before, it's that real desire in your heart that this is what you love and this is what you want to do for the rest of your life because we never stop learning in this business. It's something that never stops. We're constantly learning. The music is always changing. There are new things to learn. There are new instruments to learn. There are, uh, look at all the computer things we're going through now. It's a whole different way of recording. It's all different now. And these are the things you have to learn as you keep climbing up the ladder. And so, but you know, stick to it, shoulder to the wheel, jump over the hurdles, <laughs> you'll get there. And if they can maintain the level of passion that you still have, yes. hopefully it will also make them look 25 years younger than they <laughs> actually are when they get older. Well, thank thank you, you very much for coming thank to talk you. to us today. Pleasure, pleasure was truly, truly mine. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. Right. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the latest episode of the uh, Sessions Interviews Legends. Thanks.